Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where you give life and taketh it away with a giant bowling ball because you can. We're back out in World Box. It's been a long time since we played this super awesome god game, and a lot has changed. Why did something blow up? I mean, I guess when a giant bowling ball rolls around, things can explode. But yes, a lot has been added to this game and I am super excited to be back. I have let civilizations grow for a century now and they're doing pretty good as you can see. We got boats, we got different technologies and I have different technologies like grenades. That's always fun. Enjoy, farmers. So, okay, that was, that was a bit much, I'm sorry. I also love that the population's so rough that this this civilization decided to live on Volcano Island. Um, Yeah, not the smartest idea. Here, you, you know what happens when you go here? Demons. Demons come out from the volcano and destroy you. Okay, so they actually don't get affected by fire. They're actually trying to fight back. Not the smartest idea. Then again, are, can demons go back on water? Oh, okay, I'm oh, sorry, on land? Yes, indeed, they can. Ah, uh, yes, the great war of demons versus humans. Isn't it great? They're on fire just going everywhere. Why did I screw over the, the people who have it the worst off on this whole world? Anyways, time for serious mode. The newest part of this update is something that's really interesting. We have different types of rain, and you can basically turn the rain into traits. The fun thing is you actually need to find the traits. If you don't know how this game works, everybody has their own unique traits. I thought those were traits. Those are inventory. Uh, this guy has a perfect Drevo. Good for him, but he's wise. So basically, I have to go around looking for different traits. This guy, okay, he's fat. Nice. Gluttonous. Makes sense. But yes, uh, when I click these, I can actually use them if I find them. I've been clicking a few and unlocking. Well, I have 12 out of 73 now, but there is so many different things we can do. For example, we just got gluttonous from that fat fellow. Oh, we even got fat from him. So I really want to build civilizations of traits. I think it'll be really fun and pit them off against each other. But before that, we have to find a bunch of interesting traits to do that so yeah i'm gonna go around try and find some interesting people who have lots of traits definitely not soloku and yeah see what we can unlock i should also mention every animal has traits as well so you know what let's just spawn some bears here enjoy everybody bears might have cool traits i don't know you guys are killing them really fast they're strong accurate oh we have crocodiles now that's fun that's gonna add a little bit more they're they're tough yep okay these are basic traits Let, let's go for more of the unique uh units so we're gonna get bandits they uh they're they like bombs okay that's actually really entertaining that might be a good civilization a civilization of bomb holders put some slippery snakes over here get whatever they have oh yeah all about venom and whatnot oh yeah this is the way to do it this is gonna be a lot of traits so we got the cold one spawning ice tower will that have traits i doubt it but i'm gonna spawn one anyways because screw these guys you should nopey the hell out of here. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. We got some flame mages. You know what? We'll put some necromancers. Maybe they'll fight each other or work together. I have no idea. This is where all the really good stuff is. Plague Doctor. That's a new one. Have fun, Plague Doctors. Give me lots of traits. Got some druids. All right, we got some nice mages here. Maybe you might want to help with the flame mages over here or not. I don't care. Oh, a tumor. That's exciting. We'll put a tumor right there. Uh, yeah, I think these things actually spawn creatures. I saw one. I would like to... Oh, there he is, sitting. Oh, look at that. I got 20 traits. Go me. Only like 53 more to go. I wonder if Crabzilla has a trait. Uh, this might have been a mistake. I think I can control the... Oh, I just blew him up. How did I blow him up? Crabzilla, come back. Ah, uh, there we... Okay, so I can only control this guy. I don't think he has traits. I wish he did, though, because they'd probably be pretty good. Hi, civilization. I'm here to destroy everything because I made you, and I'm going to take you away as well. All right, let's get, let's get out of here. What the hell's a crab bomb? Let's find out. This is exciting. It's been so long since I last played. Oh, God, that's a... Ah! Why is there so many? Okay. Well... Uh, you guys are gonna have some problems for a while. I think we'll just move down here a little bit. Oh, we got bulls now? Yeah, bulls seem fun. Uh, they're strong. I already got strong. I need something new. Monkeys. All right, we're just gonna put some monkeys in this town. People are like, what the hell's going on? We had a century of peacefulness, and now we have monkeys invading our towns. What, what, what is... What, where is all the lightning coming from? You know what? All things considered, this is still looking way too nice. Surprisingly, the only one doing a lot of damage seems to be the fire mages, which are fighting the plague doctors now. 
I guess the plague doctors are the good guys. That kind of makes sense. We got some random humans freaking out. I wonder why. Oh, we got tornadoes. Where did that come from? <laughs> there's, there's flaming people flying everywhere. What the hell's a biomass? Oh, lemon trees? Dude, this game has changed. Let's let's add a biomass here. Do you, do you have traits, sir? Oh, you do. Seeking eyes of Chubo. All right, we got um, biomass and cyber core. Let's throw a cyber core down. Oh God, it's actually fighting back. Yes, go cyber core. Cybercore's down. All right, hold on. I have to put this in a more peaceful place. I want to see what these things actually do. There we go. We'll add a few Cybercores. You know what? There's a lot of humans on these lands. It looks like they expand out kind of like the biomass. Why is the biomass not being attacked, though? Or is it? Where where, where did I put that? I think they churned the... Uh... <laughs> did they churn the biomass? Oh, that was the biomass. I thought it was a bush. Um, okay, so clearly humans don't like these things. Let's just put it on an island. I just want to see what kind of traits we can get. Yes, there we go. We, we, we do have a little guy here. Ah, fireproof and immortal. Uh, well, you already died once, but it's only from old age. It's not from, you know, taking swords to the face. We have a super pumpkin. Yeah, well, that sounds fun. Dude, there's so much in this game now. Let's add a few super pumpkins because these guys are really good at killing these things. Oh, look at that. Music. He's fat. I mean, it's a pumpkin. I don't know if it's fat. I think that's just their shape, but it's an attractive fat. Oh my God, there's freaking rhinos. What the hell do the rhinos do besides be horrifying? Oh, they're like blending together that's fun more more fat again that's just that's just their structure they're not fat the, the rhinos are attacking i think they'll last for a while there are so many freaking animals now Hi hyenas will they work together or fight each other <laughs> it looks like a hyena snake uh they have no traits i thought hyenas for which for sure have traits the ufos have traits nope that's unfortunate sorry about the uh ufo in invasion oh fairies Fairies must have traits. I mean, it's a freaking fairy. Oh my God, we hit the mother load. Yes. Speaking of fairies, do dragons have traits? Hello, dragons. Seems like any of the big units don't have any traits. Oh, never mind. I lied. Serpkin's got a lot of traits. Ah, uh, look at how happy my world is. Aren't you guys proud that I'm in control? <laughs> I mean, if you go out, it's, it really doesn't look that bad. We only got like four wars going on and ex random explosions. What happened up here? Everything okay? What the hell is that? A, a Zez. I don't even know what this is. Ah, oh, this is fun. I, I I think I evolved something into like a green frog unit. Like, what was that? Why'd you guys kill it? Hold, hold on. I want to see what these things are. What is this? It's like a frog human. All right, so I think I spawned all the units. So what we can do now is humans, well, all this species or races have um, specialized traits and they're randomized. I feel like the kings or the leaders will have the most. And yes, as you can see, these guys after, you know, a century of evolution are pretty much kitted out. And um, most of them are prestigious. So they're probably going to have a lot of traits just because their family was so successful. Um, so yeah, again, oh, this guy's literally only wise. Probably smart to have a leader that's only wise, honestly. So I have unlocked less than half. There's so many different things we can get. I wonder if there's randomized rare traits with all the creatures as well, because I was only clicking a couple of the creatures. Regardless, we still have a lot to play with right now, but I, I would like to try and get as much as possible. And it's kind of fun to unlock these things. What is going on here? Holy crap, there's a war going on, I think. All right, so everybody say goodbye, everybody. We're just gonna, you know, end civilization. I think I spawned, like, way too many there. That's okay. There we go. Everyone's happy now. Look at sharing is caring. There. Ah. Uh, that never gets old. Okay, let's actually go to a different map and uh, reset civilization. What the frick is this? How do I spawn a bones what are, how does that happen i have cat island here and there's a there's just a random skull i'm never gonna get all the unlocks because i don't even know how that works anyways uh yeah doing some human and animal experiments right now just looking for more traits i got crab island that's always fun in lollipop land there's cows it's the happiest place ever i'm looking at the animals though and i don't think they get unique traits i've been trying to figure out if that's a thing or not i think it's just all the races that get different traits so once you um spawn in one and unlock those traits 
uh, you don't get anything new. So with that information, all we need is four different islands and let them hopefully flourish. And uh, then we should be able to farm some traits because I really want to get a lot of them. What the hell is that? Where do you guys come from? There's like a giant green bear here. He's fat, but he's not actually fat this time. He kind of looks like a gummy bear. Is it? I wonder if different biomes affect animals and somehow a bear made it here. I don't know where my bear island is, but it's just really weird. Every now and then some random weird creature pops up. It's very intriguing. Oh my God, is that a gingerbread man? It's Sweeto, nothing new. So it's gotta be lollipop land that's really freaking weird. Different biomes. I know, I, I know there's like a lemon land. Oh, maybe I should just, yeah, right here. So there's any weird things here besides, how did the necromancers get here? Oh, I'm dumb. This is, this was the necromancers. They spawned a bunch of skeletons, obviously. Well, now I just want to do different experiments on different biomes because this is really cool too. For example, crystal land. We got this guy who makes shinies. 40 traits. Okay, so yes, it's definitely the different biomes. This is a perfect map for these weird experiments. Um, Because yeah, they spawn. I don't know how they spawn but they spawn out different weird creatures. Oh, this guy's got a tumor infection. That's sad. Okay, so yeah, there's. A, it's really interesting the way you get traits. So we're on tum Tumor Island, so if there's a human on there, or in this regard, a mage, uh, they can get infected, and then you get a unique trait. So it's a lot of experimentation to get all these traits. Oh, mother of God, that is a very big lady. We have a... Uh... <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, you went inside. Oh, there she is. I mean, you can't miss her. <laughs> we got a giant... Oh god, these traits are fantastic. So yeah, I'm just uh, having a bunch of civilizations and seeing what we can find. Uh, yes, we somehow have made lemon people. Again, someone got frisky with a lemon on lemon land. You guys are weird. Okay, I kind of went insane with traits. I'm not going to bore you with all of them. Uh, didn't get all of them, but I got the majority of them. There's a few achievement ones I didn't get. So now we get into the fun part of experimentation because... Yeah, I got 67 out of 73 traits. I want to see how these traits affect civilizations and then pit them against each other. So we have two little squares here. Let's start off with simple humans. So we're going to put uh, around the same in each. There we go. Good enough. And I have rapid expansion on, so they should expand quickly. I also... I don't think I have no food on, but I want to make sure these guys are just, you know, populating as quickly as possible. All right. So, yeah, we're going to turn hunger off. I also turned off di diplomacy and rebellions because uh, I don't really want these guys fighting each other. I guess you guys can have some, you know, plants and whatnot. Not that you need it, but I, I just want it to be a little more green. So we're, we're going to keep this as fair as possible. We currently... As you can see, have 43 to 45. I might even throw a couple more on. It's interesting to see that this, this one seems to be expanding out a little bit more in terms of um, structures. I guess not because this one's down here. Anyways, now we can figure out what we want to give these guys traits. All right, a simple one here. So we have Genius and Weak on Omega Rain. And then on, I think it was, no, it was um, the other one, Gamma Rain. We have Strong and Stupid. Simple idea. Is a stupidly strong kingdom going to do better than a smart, weak kingdom? Let's see. Just to make this as fair as possible, I'm going to add two more to this kingdom. They don't seem to be having babies. I might have that turned off or something. That's fine. This is as fair as possible. Okay, and we're going to rain down some geniusness over here. Look at that. Look at all these bright, weak people. And then over on the other side, let's make sure I'm doing the right one. Yes, strong and stupid. Look at all these big muscle dummies. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to let them evolve for a little bit. So, a um, little bit of an update. Don't know why, but the smart ones decided to repopulate. You know what? That's a valid strategy. The strong and stupid, they, they, they've they just built armor. Um, Mind you, nothing wrong with that, but uh, strength and numbers might be a thing. Why? What happened? You guys just popped out so many kids. I look away for a second and your kingdom times four expanded. The strong dumb ones also built a, a monument. I, I, I guess they're proud of their strength. Uh, whereas these guys built fire. I feel like fire is the smarter idea. Let's get into the fun part, finally. <laughs> and see if these guys fight each other. Okay, so they both have armor. That's good. Oh yeah, before that we do this, we might want to turn on random events and whatnot. And... Uh, I think that should be ready to go. So now we're just going to go to the terrain and welcome to your neighbors. 
This is going to get awkward. Oh, we have rapid expansion on both sides, trying to take off the little bit of land that's been added. So far, it's been peaceful. All right, I'm just going to force kingdoms to start a war. There we go. That's what I wanted. Team smart versus team dumb. Who's going to win? It's uh, it's anyone's game right now, actually. Does look like the strong boys are uh, taking a little bit of a lead, but the smart people are repopulating really quickly with their little weak foes. And they have taken over the city. So now they just force the geniuses to join them. That, that wasn't even really a war. Okay, so I've tested a couple times and I can't seem to force them to fight until the last human. It looks like they can only capture cities. So a little lame. These fights are going to be very quick. Um, but yeah, let's just try again and see who indeed is victorious because I don't remember who won the first fight. All right, so we got the strong and dumb ones on the left and the weak geniuses on the right. As you can see, um, st uh, population is exactly the same. Let's let them join up and uh, I might have to force them to battle. We'll see if they just battle right away anyways. They just made a crab statue. Nice. Okay, that's yeah, way too peaceful. Come on, let's let's start the wars. Let's get going here. I, I need death. Obviously, strong were the aggressive ones attacking first. Uh, we'll see if the geniuses keep with the strategy of repopulation. Uh, man, they are getting hit quite hard right from the start. It's looking like they might be capturing it already. I think that's what this means. Does this mean they're capturing? Yep. Okay. Strong and dumb win wars. Go figure. Okay, for the next one, I put everything that I thought was evil on one and everything that I thought was good on another. So it's literally the war of good versus evil. Uh, I guess we'll make the orangey red evil and white good because white's generally good, right? All right, so here you go, all you evil people. Oh my God, oh my God, hold on, hold on, hold, hold. Okay, um. Nobody wins. Oh, I think that was too much. That was, okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't even get to start the war. Wait, we still have, oh, never mind. I was gonna say we have one on six, but no. Good wins. Look, they're repopulating and everything. Ah, uh, that's, that, that, that's perfect. All right, guys, I could obviously go much deeper into this as well. Um, there's just so much I could possibly do with this trait customization. I absolutely love this update. Uh, but yeah, this video is getting quite long already. So yeah, we'll end off this one here. If you do want to see more, though, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the chaos. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.